Shalom and greetings to you all. The title of this video is Satan's Plot Exposed. Satan has many plots to try and sidetrack and get Yah's chosen people off the narrow path that leads to life. This is just one plot that I've seen him come up with that is especially prevalent to those who are coming into an understanding of their Hebrew roots. There is a growing trend of those who claim that the Apostle Shaul or Paul was an antichrist or a false apostle or a deceiver or wolf in sheep's clothing. I'm going to show you why in this short video it is a dangerous trend and a plot from the enemy. If you turn in the scriptures to 2 Kepha or 2 Peter chapter 3 and look at verses 15 through 18 you'll see that the apostle Kepha or Peter says this an account that the long suffering of our master is salvation even as our beloved brother Paul also according to the wisdom given unto him hath written unto you as also in all his epistles speaking in them of these things in which are some things hard to be understood which they that are unlearned and unstable rest as they do also the other scriptures unto their own destruction Ye therefore, beloved, seeing ye know these things before, beware lest ye also being led away with the air of the wicked fall from your own steadfastness. But grow in grace and in the knowledge of our Master and Savior, Yahushua our Messiah. To Him be glory both now and forever. Amen. I want you to pay attention to two things. First, in verse 15, Peter declares Paul, or Shaul, as a beloved brother. So, which one is it to all the Paul haters out there? Is the apostle Paul a wolf in sheep's clothing, or a beloved brother? According to the apostle Peter, he is a beloved brother. Now, if you want to continue along the belief that Paul was a wolf in sheep's clothing then you're faced with a dilemma because then you must also believe that the Apostle Peter was a wolf in sheep's clothing as well because he calls Paul a beloved brother the other thing I want you to notice was the Apostle Kepha's clear warning he shared that those who question Paul's writings are unlearned and unstable so all these so-called scholars on the internet and these YouTubers who are making videos against Paul, they fall into this category of being either unlearned, ignoramuses, or unstable, meaning they have no root or foundation in the truth. Some of them are both unlearned and unstable. So if you follow these so-called scholars and Paul haters into this belief that Paul was somehow a false apostle or a, a deceiver, then Peter warns that you're being led away by the error of the wicked. And we all know who that wicked one is. Now in the book of Acts, we see a chronicle of the work of the Ruach HaKodesh, or the Holy Spirit, throughout the early assemblies. It also chronicles the conversion of Paul. Paul was a zealous persecutor of those who followed the way of Yahuwah. Paul had to be blinded in order to see the error of his own ways. We read in Acts chapter 9 that Hananiah, which most Bibles refer to as Ananias, he was a disciple living in Damascus. And Yahuwah used Hananiah to visit Paul in the city and heal him of his blindness. Hananiah, however, told Yahuwah he was reluctant to see Paul because of Paul's reputation for persecuting the early assemblies. Yahuwah's answer to Hananiah confirms the very special nature of Paul's calling and leaves no doubt that he was a man called by Yahuwah. Turn in your scriptures to Acts chapter 9 verses 15 and 16. 
And there it says, But the master said to him, Go, for he is a chosen vessel of mine, to bear my name before Gentiles, kings, and the children of Yishmael. For I will show him how many things he must suffer for my name's sake. So once again we are faced with a dilemma. Is Paul a wolf in sheep's clothing? Or a chosen vessel of Almighty Yahuwah? Which is it? According to our Messiah Yahushua, Paul is a chosen vessel. Now if you want to continue to think that Paul was a deceiver or a false apostle or a wolf in sheep's clothing, you have to not only believe that Peter was a false apostle, but you also have to believe that Luke's account in Acts is false as well. And not only that, you also have to believe that the word of the Messiah to Hananiah was false as well. So what I'm dem demonstrating is is that pretty soon Hasatan will have you disregarding the whole renewed covenant or New Testament because of this false doctrine that teaches that Paul was a false apostle. Beloved, there is nothing new under the sun. The reason why the Ruach HaKadosh led those words on Peter's heart to share with us today is because even back then, during that time, during Peter's time, Satan was using the same trickery to get people to doubt Paul's words and ultimately doubt the renewed covenant. The Apostle Shaul or Paul did not invent Christianity. Modern Christianity as we know it today can be traced back to Constantine when he merged the practices of pagan Rome with those of the early believers. Paul's mission was simple. It was to bear the name of Yahuwah and point the lost sheep of the house of Yishmael, also known as the Gentiles, back to the Father and back to the narrow way. So my question to all of you is will you walk along the narrow path or will you allow the unlearned or the unstable out there to knock you off that narrow path? Will you fall for Satan's plots and devices? Or will you walk with Yahuwah? 